This is a slime mold. Kat Chang is an urban designer, but in her spare time, she likes to examine other life forms. Ever since I was a little girl, I've been interested in the natural world. We're native Hawaiian, our family, and my grandmother would take me around her yard. She would show us all the plants and how you use them. And later, when I was interested in learning about fungi, I didn't have anybody to help me with it. Someone suggested iNaturalist to me, and it's on your cell phone. iNaturalist is a joint initiative of National Geographic and the California Academy of Sciences. Essentially, people can take a photo of anything living, plant, animal, fungus, slime mold, put it on the website, and other people will identify it. The app compares the image with those already in the database to begin the identification process. But ultimately, human experts weigh in. The best part of it is there's a community of people that can also participate. It's used by scientists to collect data and actually write papers, as well as just amateur people who are really interested in getting more involved and caring more about nature. This time of year, I'm particularly looking for salamanders. Oh, there he is, poking out of the wood I pulled up. And I also like to see mammals. They're one of my favorites, and birds, of course. Uh, I have almost uh, 55,000 observations. <laughs> yeah, I use it a lot. <laughs> iNaturalist has observations from every country in the world. Right now, I believe we have over 26 million observations and about 700,000 active users. This collaboration across continents led recently to a surprising discovery in California, a type of giant sunfish whose normal habitat is thousands of miles to the south. An indication, perhaps, of a rapidly changing world. Matt Dibble for VOA News. San Francisco, California.